All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing to see this is a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh brake bleeder and vacuum pump, 14 piece. And we're not going to be using it on vehicles. We're going to be using it on recreational vehicles, so stay tuned. First, get it apart. So this is what we have. Looking for direction. There it is. You gotta look guys. So let's see if we can follow their Directions. Okay, so it's saying remove this spacer prior to use. We need to hook And it comes with two 23-inch vacuum hoses. Now, if you need something longer than that, we carry it by the 50-foot roll. All right, so it's saying, because it's got a rubber O-ring here, that locks in like that. We want to take one end of the 23-incher, put it on here, Put the other end on here. We want to attach this end to here. And should be Right off the bat, I can't get it to build any vacuum. And it uses a standard valve stem, car valve stem. And I just so happen to have a new one. So let's try that. We put some lubricant in here and in here and it didn't do anything so the you know, other thing I can think that it might be is the valve stem it 
Take that one out. Put this one in. this back on now we don't need it let's see if that So we aren't going to get anywhere with this. Just take it back and we'll exchange it for another one. Alright, so I'm just going to jump in here to kind of speed up what's going on so far. You know, I don't judge a, a company by their sale. I judge a company by their after service. And if you've been around this world long enough, old enough, you're going to encounter some things that just don't work. And I'm seeing more and more lately, the last 8 to 10 years of stuff that just aren't holding up. And they're coming in from China and, you know, I understand some of this junk. But this is we're dealing with Harbor Freight. And it brought up a story with me that I had. See, I've been affiliated with Harbor Freight for almost 40 years. Uh, they were my main supplier of tools back when I was dairy farming. And I can remember one instance where you, you got a mail order catalog, right? There was no stores locally by you. And you had an order form in it with an envelope. And you went through and you wrote down the item numbers, the price, and then your total. And you sent a check, right? And four to six weeks later, the big box of your tools would show up, right? And this was a complete set from quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. All right. Short time later, about a week, I needed to use the half inch drive 1116 socket. So I got the socket out, and it wouldn't go on the nut because there was a burr inside the socket. And I was just going to just, oh, well, you know, I'll see if I can't find another 1116s, but I didn't want to screw up the set, right? So I called him on the phone. I explained. She said, explain to me what's going on, Eric. So I did. And she said, I said, can you send me out just one 1116 socket, half-inch drive for that set? And she said, yes, we will take care of that immediately. And you should be getting it within the next three to four weeks. Three to four weeks passed. And sure enough, here was this huge box. I opened it. And instead of replacing the one socket that I asked for, they replaced all three sets. That's the Harbor Freight I've been affiliated with. And that's the Harbor Freight that I ran into today. I opened up the bleeding system and I couldn't get any vacuum. And we tried lubricating the inside to see if it would build, maybe it dried up. And we also had a <coughs> valve stem, tire valve stem in the bottom for a release. So I took that out and replaced the valve stem. Still nothing. So Claude and I, we boxed it up and we headed back to Harbor Freight today because I was hoping to get that mini bike or that go-kart accomplished we get over there and it's the same young gal that sold it to me friday and i explained what the issue was and i said i'm going to ask a favor of you and she said what's that i said can we open up the other one right here so we all see if it works or not i said i don't want to get all the way home it's a half hour 40 minute drive each way to find out it doesn't work I, I'm not upset. 
but it would give me peace of mind leaving here, you know, that maybe you guys got a bad batch of them or something. So she said, do you know where they are? I said, yeah. She goes, well, grab one, bring it up. She talk, She asked her manager if it was okay just to swap, and he said, absolutely. <clears throat> and I, she asked, can we open it? And he said, yeah, because you're, you're basically swapping with it. So she opened it with her X-Acto knife, two cranks I had vacuum. That's the Harbor Freight I deal with. And, you know, people say, well, they don't come good on their tools and they're drunk and this and that. The Harbor Freight I've known for over 40 years has always been very conscious of its customers and its customers' needs. And today it was like that. You could get bitchy and complainy and get bitchy with the... the the gal that was a cashier and the supervisor over not working and what are you accomplishing? Nothing. It all turned out great. Now I got this and I'm already doing a review on it. I'm going to finish up this tomorrow by going out and seeing how well it works. But I wanted you to know the Harbor Freight that I know. On that note, we'll catch you on the next video. The one actually doing the work with our brand new brake pleader. <laughs> All right.